Phil, uh, we know we've had the bad news today that we lost Limpy, but it wasn't a total surprise to you, was it? No, there's often one, one of the, the brood is often quite sort of less strong than the others, shall we say, and this one was clearly weaker than the sibling right from the start, and he's been sick for, I'd say, several weeks, and he's, he's not been, I, would, I was away this week, went to the Solomons for five days, and before I went, he, he'd, he'd come in, he'd come in late, more or less on his own, sort of peeping feebly, just sitting down, yeah. and he wasn't eating, so he just wasn't into it, you know, there were no bananas and stuff out there, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't take anything, just sitting there, and he looked, just looked really feeble, so I was actually very surprised he was still alive when I got back last night, so, uh, but sadly, you know, he's just got um, underweight and not feeding, and seems to have been various problems with him, and he's uh, now deceased, which is sad, but not, une not unexpected, I have to say. So, yes, um, yeah. What is the uh, actual average um, successful rearing of the birds in the wild? Uh, well, it's actually, it varies. I mean, often we have three chicks, and he, he, re he rears all three. So probably, I mean, we've been there about 16 years, and I suppose probably eight years he's had three chicks, and he's reared them all till dispersal time. And then, of course, after they disperse, it's, it's an open question as to what happens. There was a, a sad case three years ago where two of them were killed by a, a dog down in the uh, in the suburbs nearby, which was very distressing. Um, so animal control is a Animal is an control issue. is a big issue, yeah. Yep. Um, particularly in, in the forest. We, we, we A number of times recently we've had stray pig dogs wandering, which we've actually caught and successfully rehomed, I have to say, which is nice. But... Uh, you don't want them loose in the forest. There are reports of dingoes being seen in the forest. Um, there are pigs, of course. So yep. um, feral animal control is actually quite important because the chicks at this stage are very vulnerable to anything like that. Yeah. Of course, that when it's nests, of course, that's another matter. It's, that's also very vulnerable to pigs. And so forth. Yeah, and even electric ants now that may be uh, pushing well, into the forest. Yeah, no, let's hope not. Yeah. And other things that... Um, uh, obviously you're aware of being uh, where you are on Black Mountain Road, um, the traffic. I've had an official response, oh it's a dirt road, you can't do anything, there's bends, it's not safe, people go too fast, you can't do any calming. Oh, wait a minute, I'm sure I'm not sure I follow that logic. <laughs> no, I don't seem to follow that logic either, <laughs> Phil. But obviously that's uh, a question that we will be able to take to the TMR. And, uh, it's certainly worth you know, asking again what, what can be done, because something does need to be done, it is an issue, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an important safety issue for an endangered species and of course the human inhabitants of the area. So we had an adult castor killed on that road back in the, when was it, must have been March I think, the big, Harriet. big female Harriet, yes. was killed by a speeding truck, I shall not name who it belonged to, but um, yeah, it was very unfortunate. Yes, I know when I covered that uh, event on ABC, uh, people rang me in that afternoon and, and some people were actually in tears. Mm. They were mm. just genuinely really upset yes, and, and yeah. I think the community really is embracing the, um, the fragility of the mm. cassowary, mm. and when we lose uh, a breeder, uh, like that, a, yes. and she wasn't yeah. uh, an old bird, was she? No, 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 she was a new, she, she came in last year, she suddenly appeared, displaced the original female who'd been with us for the last 13 years, and she, she displaced it, it was a huge fight, and uh, Harriet won, drove the other female off, and, and basically took over that particular territory. And, and I think these are her chicks, I'm pretty sure, because we saw them mating. So right. I'm almost certain that these these chicks actually belong to Harriet. I'm not 100% sure, but it's, there's a very strong probability because we did see Dad mating with her in our garden. So, okay. um, did you witness child. that fight? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh god yes. They, they ran down the side, the two females ran down the side of the house. As we have a big china flower pot at the bottom of the steps, they went smack straight into it, knocked <laughs> the pot over, smashed it and ran off into the forest. One of them actually fell over, Missy fell over. And, got, and the other one was coming in and ready to kick it and she had to leap up and scuttle off. So it was a, a spectacular event and you did not want to be anywhere near it. So no. Yeah, yeah. I've, heard a fight. I've heard a fight from a distance in the ranges a few oh. times in the Alexander Range and they, oh. it did sort of sound like two dinosaurs, two, oh. it was something like out of Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, it was an yeah. enormous amount of volume but I was never close enough to no, witness it. You don't but... want to be close because they go real fast and they're totally focused, so you do not want to get in the way. So yes. <laughs> it does happen. It does These happen. stray birds come in. I mean, Dad also is quite aggressive. Too. If a stranger comes in, he will chase them off. So 
there's a there's like a timeshare. They sort of come in at different times and try not to not to occupy the same space time continuum is what happens. So. <laughs> <laughs> Conflict. And we were saying before on the um, that uh, with fight or flight, uh, it's a bit of a problem on the flight part being a cassowary. <laughs> but they so it's the run as fast as we can. You can run the fastest. Yeah. yeah. So Harriet was the dominant anyway, and she won out and, and drove uh, uh, Missy basically out of, out of the system. And so Missy right. would occasionally sneak in, but sort of looking around very nervously to see what was going on. And, Harriet took over, but and sadly Harriet met her end on the road. So, and, oh, well, you know the story there. So, yes, yeah, yes, absolutely tragic. Mm. Well, thanks for that, Phil. Mm -hmm.